So you're up and running with code. Here are the next three steps to help design your own lessons. So let's start exploring. A really good place to begin is by building a Cano kit and exploring the apps available. Another approach could be to spend a few hours with Scratch or scrolling through the projects on code.org or raspberrypi.org. There are some fantastic resources available on YouTube that can help illustrate key topics. And finally, why not find a coding buddy, someone that's already been there and gone through it. And to ensure learning outcomes are met, refer back to the curriculum and highlight key terms and definitions. Keep this list to hand and make notes as you explore coding. Find real world examples. They're fun, tangible, and will encourage learners to find others for themselves. Let's say we want to consider sequencing, loops, variables, and conditional statements. These can be found almost anywhere in the world. A good example would be traffic lights. The lights change in sequence between red, amber, and green. They also have loops. Variables control the time that the lights change. And there's also conditional statements, which could be when someone pushes the button to cross the road. Real world examples are a great way to encourage computational thinking. You could create a challenge around traffic lights. Learners could create an algorithm to manage traffic at a busy intersection. They'll need to break the problem down into chunks, find patterns, focus on important information, and create a step-by-step -step solution. Decomposition, pattern recognition, algorithms, and abstraction. These four parts of computational thinking are perfect for designing all sorts of lesson plans.